Alrighty guys, so it is like freaking 10, 15, super, super late. Um, my first night off, it has been an exhausting day so far. I did have a decent check-in. I felt like it went well, pictures went well. I felt like measurements looked okay. I thought pictures looked good. I felt like I looked pretty good. Weight's back in a good place. Um, but unfortunately, um, she did double my cardio, so I have four times of cardio a week now, 60 minutes, and she changed up my workouts, my uh, two glute days, and um, more one is a glute hammy day. Um, they're pretty different now, a lot of volume, lower weight, um, some quite a bit different exercises. So I was gonna take you along on my workout tonight and kind of show you that. Um, I'm gonna do my glute focus day to day. And then it's a high carb day. I already had breakfast. I did that in a real quick hurry on the way to the laundromat. Um, and I had two pieces of toast, but otherwise, same breakfast I usually have. I made a sandwich out of it though, which is with the two pieces of bread and kind of smushed them. Didn't do anything special with it. Um, and then when I got home, I was still kind of hungry from the laundromat. So I took a rice cake and I put a little bit of peanut butter and some sugar-free jelly on it, which I know I've been trying to stay away from the sugar-free stuff, but I was trying to figure out something to do and it was an easy, quick fix. Um, and then I'm going to have this on the way. So if you can see that little bit of yogurt with some berries and a rice cake. I'm just going to have that real quick. And then I, of course, already have my pre-workout made up, my core nutritionals. So I feel like trash, but I'm going to try and get this workout done. We'll see how it goes. See you there. All right, guys, so um, we have a totally different warm up tonight. Um, instead, it's gonna be banded stuff. We're gonna do two sets of it. Um, it's, let's see, it starts with banded squat kickbacks and then band squats and then side steps with the band. And then the last thing is supposed to be jump squats, but I don't do anything jumping because I had knee issues a few years ago and don't wish to revisit that. So, what I'm gonna do is pull squats instead of the jump squats. And then, like I said, two sets and then we're gonna get into our glute day. So, let's go. just because I'm so tired but it was good it felt really good it felt different um, so we are gonna start with um, squats again it was supposed to be jump squats but I'm just gonna do um, banded squats I'm gonna do the banded pull squats I'm gonna use my booty band though instead uh, I'm gonna superset that and it's actually gonna be a monster set with uh, deadlifts and then sumo deadlifts so I believe it's just regular stiff legs and then sumos and we're supposed to get 15 to 20 reps per so I'm gonna go for 20 with the band um, and then I'm going to probably go pretty light and just see how it feels to go to 20. If I feel like I can do more than 20, then I'll up the weight. But I'm going to start pretty light on this because I am not feeling like I can do very much. So let's see how this goes.
super exhausted and starving home from the gym legs are destroyed it's late it's like almost three o'clock in the morning which for this guy is like ridiculous for me it feels kind of normal but anyway it's gonna eat some food i have we'll see how i get all my food and it's already three o'clock so we'll see um because i have this some chicken and sweet potatoes and then i was gonna eat cream of rice with some protein powder and peanut butter but i don't know how late i feel like staying up tonight so we will see how it goes anyway gonna eat my snacky all right guys so it's dinner time pretty dense meal green beans with some garlic mashed sweet potatoes but a pretty good size serving and then i got me some grilled chicken breasts that we um pre-cooked in the sous vide machine uh, pot with some sriracha mayo on top and of course always drinking water down this while we watch some tv all righty guys so this is my last snack of the night I had a little extra chicken at dinner, so I wouldn't have to worry about protein at bedtime. So I didn't just having a little carby snack. Cream of rice uh, with a little bit of peanut butter on top. And then I put some Himalayan pink sea salt. And uh, a little sprinkle of my Flavor God cinnamon roll seasoning on top. So I'm going to munch that down, have some vitamins, and go to bed. I'll see you all manana. Hey there, and welcome to yet another day in week four, where my legs feel like bricks and I barely got through my cardio, but it's done. Fasted cardio. Um, I thought today what I would do, because I don't have a gym day today, I did my uh, glutes last night. Um, I did my fasted cardio, um, but I have to hit the grocery store for a few things. So I thought I would just show you my grocery haul later, and then we'll probably do a little bit of meal prep lot later. Um, we did some sweet potatoes last night and a decent bit of chicken, as you saw. So I don't need to do that. Um, but I definitely want to cook up some more veggies. I want to start getting some more veggies in for my carbs. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to take you, um, or not take you, but I'll show you my grocery haul later. All right now, I'm going to go ahead and have breakfast. I wanted to show you what I'm having for breakfast because it's a little bit different than what I normally have. Normally I have turkey bacon, but we were out. So this morning I just made, um, so today I should say, since it's almost seven, my morning time, um, I decided to go ahead, uh, we didn't have any turkey bacon. So I made my omelet with a little bit of extra egg beater. And then I put in one whole egg. And then this right here, I'm gonna have with some almond milk. This is a cereal I got recently. I have some really good macros. Nature's Path Organic Keto Cereal. The macros on it, like I said, are really, really good. 18 carbs, 7 protein, 2.5 fat. So I'm going to go ahead and have that for my cereal with a little bit of almond milk. So that's my carbs and my brekkie. So I'm going to go scarf this down. Hey guys, so we're home, just putting away groceries, finished our grocery store trip after we closed up the laundromat uh, tonight. Anyways, um, just got some basic stuff, but they didn't have very much in the meat department uh, variety. So we are gonna have to go to the store again tomorrow and get some uh, 99 fat free ground turkey and some chicken breast. Otherwise, we got our low cal, 40 cal bread that we use almost every day with breakfast. This is my chicken breast lunch meat. I love this stuff. It's really low fat. It only has one gram of fat per serving, one gram of carbs, and eight grams of protein. A lot of those lunch meats have like tons of carbs and fats in them, unfortunately. Uh, we get some eggs. My kids eat quite a bit of eggs. He eats regular eggs. I don't eat regular eggs so much. I do eat a fair share of egg beaters, so I got a couple Egg beaters for myself, of course. Um, I've heard a few people talking about these, so I wanted to try them, the two good yogurts. So I got a few of the vanilla, <clears throat> two good. They only have two grams of fat, three grams of carbs, and 12 grams of protein. So it's a little bit better than my Dan and Fair Life, which I, or sorry, Dan and Light and Fit, which I like. Um, but I'm kind of picky with my yogurt, so we'll see if I like them or not. Speaking of the Dan and Light and Fit, they had creme brulee flavor. Oh my God, I cannot wait to freaking try creme brulee flavored yogurt. 
I'm probably gonna have one tonight. Um, frozen green beans, iceberg, of course. I got some baby dills. Um, more sweet potatoes because we always, always, always use sweet potatoes. I also bought some lightly salted rice cakes along with my caramel rice cakes because I figure on my lower carb days I can have those with tuna or whatnot. Um, I did get a little bit of zucchini. Their produce was kind of questionable. It was kind of, didn't seem the greatest. So I did get some zucchini and yellow squash. And then got some coffee. I love this turtle love by Dunkin' Donuts. It's so good. So, so good. Oh, Got a bunch of berries, blackberries as well as raspberries and blueberries. They were all buy one, get one free. Got some tuna packets. Ranch dip, which I mix with Faye, the zero Faye, and it makes ranch, ranch dip. It's so, so good with cucumbers or celery. It's amazing. And then a couple of cans of coconut oil cooking spray. And then I did get some stock cold brew. I wanted to try it out. Um, that way I don't have to make coffee necessarily. I can just have some cold brew ready to go. Um, I got a couple other things for my kiddos. Um, their bread and some cereal and whatnot for them. And then uh, we got a couple cans of some beans and whatnot to make dinner for his dad tomorrow because it's his dad's birthday. Which, oh, let me show you. Where did that go? The filet. Totally forgot. Um, I got some more turkey bacon as well. But his dad wanted Cubans for dinner tomorrow night, which I can't do. Can't do a Cuban as good as they are. Um, so I did get, I'm going to make it fit. We got some tenderloin grass-fed steaks, some little fillets. So they look really, really, really lean. I'm gonna trim a little bit more fat off so that they're super lean. And then um, obviously I won't have peanut butter or anything tomorrow. I'll end up having this. Um, well, actually, maybe not. It says 1.5 grams of fat per serving is what they're saying is in here. 23 grams of protein. So I might actually be able to do a little bit more of this than I thought. So we'll see, but I'm gonna have steak for dinner tomorrow night. I have a steak and I'll probably just have mashed sweet potatoes and some iceberg salad of some sort. Um, yeah, I do have to make him a carrot cake, so I will show you that when I make it, but I unfortunately don't get to partake in the carrot cake, so that's a bummer, but ah, oh well. Dad's birthday, so I'll make it for him anyways. And then we get some lime squeezers as well. We, uh, we use a lot of lime juice when we're cooking our chicken and whatnot, so super tasty. Um, oh, he said these are for the moho, but we do use them when we're cooking all the time, lime and lemon juice. Anyways, this is our little grocery haul for tonight. Aside from the ground turkey and chicken breast, this is pretty standard for what we get. So I'm gonna put away my groceries and then uh, he's starting on some food. Um, and then we're just gonna warm up some leftover chicken and mashed potatoes, mashed sweet potatoes and green beans from last night. So I'll have that here in a bit. But no workout tonight. Just gonna make some food, chill out, watch TV. I'll see you mañana. Morning guys, it is Thursday morning. It is April 28th. Um, I have check-in tomorrow. It's the last check-in for this week as of as of uh, this weekend, we are officially three weeks out and only two more weeks of uh, prep left. Um, I got like three hours of sleep and I was laying in bed and trying to go back to sleep and I was really struggling. So I decided to get up and do a couple things I needed to do. It's my guy's dad's birthday, so my future father-in-law, so to speak. Um, and so it's his birthday today. So we're gonna do things a little differently today. Um, my first need is to get some things to make him a cake. So yay, I get to make freaking carrot cake on 
bikini prep when I'm like three weeks out. That's gonna be fun. Um, and then he wanted Cubans for dinner, which is fine. They're really, really good. My guy used to be a chef and they are, he makes them so amazing. They're so tasty, but I can't have a Cuban. So I wanted to still have something kind of like special and birthday dinner or whatever. So I decided to go ahead and have a filet, um, the steaks I showed you last night. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and have one of those. They're really lean, but we're going to trim it up even more to make it more lean. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm just going to have sweet potatoes and like salad probably. Um, and then for workout, we're going to work out earlier before dinner is the plan versus after, um, or later at night like we usually do. So right now I'm just going to try and get... A couple of things from the grocery store to make the cake. I also have to get ground turkey and chicken that I didn't get last night because the grocery store didn't have any of that 99% fat free and then their chicken was like super expensive so we just didn't grab it there. Um, everything's just so much more expensive than it used to be these days. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna grab a few things. I'm gonna go home. Depending on how I feel, I'll either go to sleep then or I'll make the cake and then go to sleep, but I'm gonna try and get like three more hours of sleep, hopefully. Um, Cause I do have a leg day tonight and I need more sleep. I just, you know, sleep is essential, especially during prep. Um, but that's my life. Can't sleep sometimes lately. And it's really ridiculous how hard it is to go back to sleep sometimes. Um, anyways, I'll do this little trip in the store and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. All right, so making the carrot cake, and so far this is the only healthy component to it. It's carrots and chopped walnuts and unsweetened coconut flakes, and then I'm using coconut oil when I make it instead of butter. So that's the only thing that's gonna be healthy about this cake. We'll see it when it's done. Alrighty guys, I don't get a Cuban tonight, but I do get this, which looks pretty freaking incredible right now. Sweet mashed potatoes, tilapia, uh, mushrooms and zucchini, and a super, 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 super lean filet. Um, it's like 4.6 ounces. So that should be so good. Hey there. So it is pretty much week three now. So I gotta give this video a close. Um, it's kind of dragged its feet a little bit because of my energy levels, but it's actually picked up today. I feel really good. Um, anyways, 
I'm gonna go ahead and start week three's video. I'm super excited. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you don't subscribe, please do. Um, and then if you'd like to see anything specific about the next last two weeks of regular prep before peak week, let me know below. Please comment um, and just tell me what you'd like to see or hear me talk about or whatever um, as far as experiences or anything. Um, I plan on getting a little deeper into a couple of things this next week. Um, tummy skin and whatnot. Um, plans for my shows are changing a little bit. Um, also, um, let's see. What else was I going to talk about? Oh, I talked to Coach a little bit more about post-show, so those plans are getting pretty specific. Um, kind of how I'm going to fix myself into my suit, because, you know, some of you know I'm a mom of four. I've had four C-sections. I do have some tummy skin issues that we will have to kind of hide. So I kind of want to talk a little bit about that next video. But uh, if there's anything else specific, like I said, please let me know below. But otherwise, I'll see you next week. All right, hang in there.